five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Here's the part where I sing. Everybody. <laughs> Allergies, folks. Allergies. Yes. Here I am. I'm in my shorts tonight, if you can. Well, you might be able to see it later. I don't know. Um, uh, welcome to our fine little program. I can't wear these glasses anymore. I gotta get I got I have to get more powerful glasses, I think, because I get kind of mm, woozy from you know. I, I try to go. Uh, I'm kind of. You know how you how when you uh, are uh, gaining weight and stuff, uh, you still try to put on the smallest pants you can so you think you're thin. Well, I keep trying to go for the lowest power glasses I can, and maybe that's why I'm feeling dipsy all the time. But anyway, I thought I would do a little something tonight that we don't normally do, and this is an experiment. So as with most experiments, it may not work. Okay. All right. So uh, let me let me give it a try here. What I have to do first of all is I have to I have to turn on my uh, get, go to my iPhone, and then I have to go to a program here, which uh, should there we go. It's working. It's working. Okay. Now let me see what happens. You see what we have here is I have a program on my iPhone so I can shoot with my iPhone and put it on the air. But one thing I gotta do now is I'm gonna try and make it so I can get the sound off the phone because I'm gonna move around and I want you to be able to hear me. But, but I, I think, think that, that uh, I'm, I'm wondering, wondering, is there a, uh, are, we, are we coming through? No, I guess we're not coming through. Hmm. I, I thought, thought we, we might, might be, be coming, coming through. through. Um, hmm. Oh, oh well, well, I, I guess, guess I'll, I'll just have, have to. Uh, 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 let, let me see, see here. Oh, I know what it is. Hold on a second. Let, let me see here. Go to audio advanced, advanced properties, properties, and then, then I go monitor on. Okay. So, so let's see here. There, there, there we, we go. go. Okay. So if I uh, don't. Uh, I think, yeah, we're going out okay. Okay, the audio is going out okay. All right, all right, okay. Let me, let me just make sure. See, this is, uh, this is, this is my view. This is what I, what I see when I'm uh, doing the show. Okay, so he, here, we, you can hear me then, see. And now this is where I sit. Okay, let me uh, just uh, let me just do a little uh, little see here. Here's me with the camera and that's what I see and uh, What we have here. This is the program. I keep talking about called OBS, which is what we do to switch the program um, I wish I could show you how I switch the program, but if I do that It'll just switch and you won't be able to see the switch. But anyway, this is where I sit uh, there is uh, the other monitor that has uh, all my porn on it. No, that's where we uh, uh, we check out to make sure that the show's going across. Let me see here. Let me um, let me um, um, go over here, okay? And then that will show you that uh, that's the uh, that, that that's the video going out that I'm monitoring to make sure that it's going out okay. All right. So anyway, and this is where we play the music. For instance, if I if I want to play a, an opening or something like that, I simply go. Five years and still talking. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Promos and stuff on. Five. All right. Anyway. Okay. So is the sound still going through? Yeah, the sound's still still going through. Okay. Let me show you here then. This is the whole setup where we do the show from, okay? Uh, a monitor so that I can see what's going out. 
the monitor that I work with and I will soon bring Skype up on that center monitor and then this one is where I play all the music and stuff from. We used to use this one here as the, uh, as the main one that we use, uh, but it just didn't have the power. And now I have this thing and we call it the trash can for obvious reasons. That's a Mac, that's a Mac Pro, fully loaded and it's been down to Houston twice, but now it works. And here's me in the mirror. We have a whole mirror. Makes the room look larger. Anyway, over here, this is where uh, we uh, we send up the uh, the show to the uh, to to the audio up to the um, uh, what do we call it? We use the encoder to send it up to the server, and then the server sends out the signal. And here are all the different shows you see. In fact, I'll bet, because he's so good about it, uh, see that, uh, where is it? Um, well, there's A, B, okay. See that um, B, X right there? That's uh, the exchange. And uh, Damien's very good about putting that up all the time. again there we go okay I accidentally pushed the button wrong that's Marjorie's machine that's where she has all her stuff you know and uh, she uses that that's her machine and and we have uh, what we're using is we're using Mac minis here uh, which is pretty cool actually um, we use them also over here for the server as well I, you know, we call, we call the old, uh, the old Max, uh, the cheese grater, because they look like cheese graters, and this was called the trash can, uh, because it looks like a trash can. Okay, now, what is that? I, I, yesterday I heard somebody call this, these Mac Minis, the hot plate. Okay, so you got the hot plate there. Okay, and then moving around the room, in back of me are just DVDs after DVDs after DVDs. Think of all the money I would have had I not spent all this money on DVDs. And there's a lot of blank areas here. These aren't all the DVDs. A lot of them are in the, uh, in the closet over here, uh, along with old... Uh, old tapes that Damien has sent me of my radio shows from California. But uh, a lot of these boxes have uh, the, uh, uh, the DVDs in them that I have put into files so that I can keep them, you know, in files. This is, uh, by the way, this is Trumpy Bear. In case you don't remember Trumpy Bear, we bought him. Uh, He's, uh, he's the Trumpy Bear. He has a, a red tie, as you can see here. Uh, but uh, we have put him in a city capital, which is a Chinese banking company, a city capital jersey. And, of course, I have my, uh, my cap there as well. Uh, so here, um, let me show you a few little artifacts here. Uh, this is when I did Midnight Blue. This was a poster that we put in bars. Uh, and... Uh, you know, it's pretty good. Now this I'm re I, is one of my little treasures. Uh, we're getting a little reflection in there, so I'll try and go around the reflection. This is Ren and Stimpy, and uh, this is done by one of the artists. This is just a, a rough drawing they would use in making the show, and they said, thanks for your support. Hey, Alex, thanks for the support, Ren and Stimpy. And I'm trying to remember I, the name. I'm trying to remember the guy's name, uh, but maybe you can you can figure it out. I remember because he was one of the one of the people involved in the show. Um, they sent that to me. This uh, this is nothing. That's nothing. now this. Anybody remember this? Uh, that is the Frito Bandito. The Frito Bandito was a. For Fritos was the, their their cartoon mascot, which later went out of favor because it was considered slightly racist. The voice was done by Mel Blanc, 
And that is an actual cell from a Frito commercial for the Frito Bandito. Now, let me show you this. This is very rare. This is a cell of Mickey Mouse. Now, there are very few cells of Mickey Mouse available. But this one was available because in Europe, Disney licensed out Mickey as a mascot and a, uh, a, a cartoon character for the commercials for Fanta. And that is taken from a Fanta commercial, but that is an actual cell of Mickey Mouse. Okay, very, very rare, I am told. Um, and it was given to me by a guy who had a cartoon cell company that sold cells and so on. Uh, I, I didn't get the Frito Bandito from him, though. I got it from some guy who just liked my show, and he had this, and he had a couple of them, so he gave me one of them, okay? There's a wonderful poster for Grand Illusion. There's a poster for The Meanest Man in the World with Jack Benny and Priscilla Lane. Um, let me see here. Anything else? There's my on the air sign that Marjorie uh, 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 gave me. And uh, if I didn't show it, she would be bothered by it. Uh, let me see here. Here are Coca-Cola bottles with my name on it. My nickname, Alex and Bolo. And then OK, uh, OK Mills, which is Marjorie's nickname. And then Marjorie. I sent away for those for some reason. Um, that's about it in this room, you know. Um, basically, it's equipment and it's, uh, uh, and there's the copier. And then this goes out, let's see how far we can go before losing the signal. This goes out to the, um, um, this goes out to the hallway of our apartment. And it goes all the way down there. You see how dark it is right now. Here, let me turn this up and we can, we can show you more. Okay. All right. I think it's okay. Are we still coming through? I hope so. Anyway, I'll turn that down because we don't want to wake more Marjorie up because she's in the bedroom there. And uh, then this is the, uh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Don't you, don't you feel great about this? <laughs> This is where I this is where I take a shit uh, before the show. I thought you'd want to know that. Okay. So that's our our little tour. I don't know, you know, what else there is to show you. Uh, you know, I, all the wires and stuff underneath. That that's really a mess down there. But you know, anybody who runs a studio like this, it's always a mess. Uh, and if I could, I would just build some kind of little board back there to just hide them. But um, that's, a, by the way, a second computer for the thing that plays the music. And I think we, uh, that's, that's pretty much it, isn't it? Uh, and if I want to, I can switch you back over to me. Uh, and we'll go back over to me. We'll turn, we'll turn that, that up. up. We will, we will in a, in a, hold on a second. second. I gotta, I gotta turn, turn something, something down, down so, so I gotta, I gotta go, go back to this. So I gotta, so I gotta kill, kill the camera. That's it. Okay. And then I do that. All right. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna turn it off. What the hell? You know? We don't need it any longer. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed our little, uh, our little trip. Um, and it was all done using that, okay? So anyway, that's our little remote camera. Maybe I can use it sometime for some reason or another. Oh, now I'm a little lightheaded, having done that, okay? Uh, let me see here. I think I can get unlightheaded if I just have some coffee. I, uh, I had a, uh, I took a Xanax last night to put me to sleep and that always you know, I, I don't take the pills too well. That's my problem. Um, but anyway, so. Hmm. So today I was, um, let me get it put on my earphones so I can hear myself. Um, today I, I, I had a strange, you know, I've, lately I've been very morbid lately because I, 
I keep having like, uh, I have like slight little, uh, it's not chest pain, it's like uh, some kind of agita here and some kind of like heavy breathing. And all of that has to do with, from what I can figure out, is a, a situation in which I am, uh, let me see here, I'm trying to get rid of some stuff here. Let me do that. Okay, did that, uh, hold on a second, folks. I gotta do something. Let me get rid of some stuff here. Let me get rid of some stuff there. Okay, anyway, uh, I, I've just been kind of getting morbid lately because I've had this, this problem with, um, with um, um, my, you know, my breathing. Uh, I think it, I'm, I'm finally thinking it's pollen because tonight I started coughing and it was like right here in the throat, you know. But I, I just, I mean, it's just that people are dying on me all around. I don't want to, sh sh should I even talk about this or is this going to depress you? Um, and so I, I have this morbid thing about death, which is something that I don't take too kindly to. And I suppose if it, if it happens, I want it to happen all of a sudden, so I don't know what happens. But uh, you don't pick the way you're going to die, okay? Um, you know, my father often said to me, he says, when I die, I want to get hit by a Mack truck. Okay. And I, I always thought that that had a certain kind of wisdom to it. All right? So anyway, um, I... Uh, uh, Was just walk, I was walking down the street. I came back and went and worked out, okay, because I got to prove to myself that I would, did 30 minutes today on the bike, and, and usually I do 25. That's my ritual. And I try to do it three days a week, four days a week if I can. I haven't been doing that. I've been doing like one or two, and today this today was the third day this week. And, and I'm doing it kind of to prove to myself that I don't get chest pains from doing it so I know I don't have a heart problem, all right? So we know that that isn't whatever problem I've got. But anyway, so I'm coming back, and I'm, you know, I'm, just, I'm just obsessively morbid lately, and I don't know why, and I, and I think it has something to do with my age. I think it has to do with the fact that I'm, I know there are less years ahead of me than there were before me, okay? Uh, and so consequently, and, you know, I've been having this... I don't know what this is. It isn't. It it isn't. It isn't a heart problem. If it was a heart problem, I would have. It would have started bothering me when I was working out today. But I think it's it's it's. Uh, I think it's pollen, and I think it also has to do with the, the labored breathing from the pollen. But anyway, be that as may, I'm coming back home. So okay. And I and I and I'm, I'm 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 looking at the people around me as I'm walking down the street, and you know New York City is just cluttered with people. I mean, you know, we've got more, we it, we have so many people, we could lose half of them and still be the largest city in the United States. Um. So I um I I I I, I, I I'm looking at these people around me. I'm looking at this massive humanity, most of which. Hey, I don't know any of them. Some of them appear to have lives, but I'm not sure if they have lives. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at them, and I'm saying to myself, do you realize that all these people that are walking down the street right now, in fact, all the people that are here in the United States right now, and the world right now, a hundred years from now, we'll probably not be here. Now, a hundred years isn't a long time. And I'll tell you why. Because in December, I'm going to have lived two-fifths of a century, three, four-fifths of a century. So a hundred years isn't a lot. And I'm looking at these people and I'm going, you know, they're not going to be here. Uh, the people that I'm seeing. I mean, I'm sure there's some children, a few of them may make it, okay, to 100. But there weren't children. There were a lot, of, mostly people who were <clears throat> above the age of 15, okay? 
And I said, every one of these people is going to be dead. It, it, it's almost like rotating the soil, you know? It's just a, a complete turnover. Uh, and, and, and then while they're here, people have a tendency to... Um, <coughs> boy, whatever it is, I, I'm, I got it. Anyway, the, uh, let me see if I can get this point across. Um, all these people are taking this life too seriously. You know, I mean, I turn on MSNBC and hear all, hear all these busy little ants at MSNBC t tilling their soil and, and, and uh, talking about, oh, and Trump did this and Trump did that. And then Trump goes out and does shit and so on. And he, he's trying to make other people's lives miserable or whatever. I don't know what his motivation is. He probably didn't like human beings very much. And I'm thinking, you know, we only have a certain amount of time here. And once it's through, it's through. You're not here any longer. Oh, maybe you believe in a God and the, the God's going to be all wonderful to you and you're going to go meet Aunt Phyllis in the heaven, you know, things like that. Your, your, your grandpa, Mima, you know, they're all up there. You're going to spend your time with them. Let's just say that isn't so. You're going to be mulch for some worms. And uh, unless, you know, unless you get cremated, in which case you're going to make an ash out of yourself. Ha, ha, ha. And uh, it, it, how, how just absolutely useless this whole thing is. Or maybe it isn't useless, but maybe how we spend it is useless. Uh, we spend it making other lives miserable. Uh, we spend it not caring for each other. We spend it being very selfish. And then we drop dead. And what did we accomplish? Nothing. You know, so what are you supposed to do while you're here? And I think what you're supposed to do is have a good time. And I think anybody that prevents you from having a good time should be, like, banished from the society. But just remember this. When you walk down the street tomorrow, and I don't want you to—I don't, I don't want to bum you out, okay? Uh, when you walk down the street tomorrow and you see a whole bunch of people, remember that within 100 years, maybe less, but 100, I'll give you 100 years— None of those people are going to be there. They're going to be replaced by a whole new bunch of people who won't be there in another hundred years. Who are going to be replaced by a whole bunch of other people who are not going to be there in a hundred years. So why are we taking what we're doing here so seriously? Why are we so eaten up with, uh, with, with the politics and and the games that human beings play, and why do they play these games? I mean, is that the way we're going to spend our lives? I mean, why is Donald Trump the way he is? He's going to be dead. Now, I don't want the Secret Service coming here. I'm not wishing him dead. Well, I'm... Don't, yeah, I, well, I don't wish him dead. No, nah, that's wrong, too. Uh... Okay, he's going to die, okay? He could die sooner than later, looking at that gut he's sporting. Um, but, you know, for whatever, why is he doing what he's doing? Why are any of these congressmen acting the way they act, or senators acting the way they act, or why are all these 23 people trying to run for president and calling each other names? Blah, blah, blah. We only have a hundred years or less, and in most cases, it's less. I'm very lucky. I've made it to 79. I have people who didn't make it to 79, and I wish they had. Uh, but I've made it to 79 so far, and who knows how much time I have left. Maybe I'll live to be a hundred like my mother. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, not if I have to be that way. Not if I have to, you know. Well, then I, I won't know where I am anyway. Um, but it, it, it's, you know, uh, enjoy yourself, okay? And don't let anybody else stop you from enjoying yourself. You know what I'm saying? That really bothers me. You know, the people, you got to enjoy yourself, folks. 
You got to enjoy this life. And, and, and I feel terrible because I'm the worst person to be saying this. And, and I'll tell you why. Because I worry so much about death. Like I have this PSA test coming up again. And I'm worried about the cancer. And I'm always worried about something. And I've got this, uh, you know, this whatever it is, this cough or lung thing that's going on right now. And it, it probably is purely seasonal. And if I go to a doctor, you'll say it's purely seasonal. Either that or give me a whole bunch of tests and make my life a living hell for a while and then tell me it's seasonal. But the point is that I... Uh, I uh, uh, I just don't I, I just uh, I, I don't even live that way myself and I should live every moment enjoying it not like it's my last but almost like it's my first okay so you know I used to say today is the last day of the rest of your life you know and it, who knows how long it's going to go on but I, I've got to I've got to learn how to be happy but more than that, I think the world has to start learning how to be happy. China has to quit acting the way they act, and Russia has to quit acting the way they act, and we have to quit acting the way we act. Let's just try to, all we should care about is making everybody's life a happy one. And anybody that tries to steal that from us, um, should be banished from the society, okay? Anyway, the phones have been open for a while. Nobody's calling. Phil is not calling tonight, so it's a Phil-free night. So that means that people like Scott and Tom, if you're listening out there, you can call, and all you other people can call. And uh, let's, let's fill up the Skype lines here. If you don't know how to use Skype, just go over to gabnet.net. If you've never called this program before, try it tonight. And if you don't know how to do it, you go over, you go over to gabnet.net. Don't worry, the program is playing over there. And you, uh, you go and you, um, you um, uh, uh, read uh, there. It tells you how to get Skype, and then you download Skype. And if you've already got Skype, it tells you it has a little button you can push, and that'll simply put you in touch with us. So, you know, all the information on the right-hand side of the page is about how to use Skype, how to call this program. There's even a phone number you can use if you don't have Skype, all right? So uh, give it a try, okay? So here comes our first caller, and it's uh, Al, Al, Al K. Yes, Al, hello, Al. Let me, uh, let me, I'm going to put you in, in, in uh, the place. Number one. The, the number one spot, which is normally, um, no. uh huh is normally Phil, okay, and here comes Michael Klein. So let me see here. Let me put Michael Klein in uh, second place. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Everybody's calling was, so fast. Wait I was calling cancer. the wrong number, I guess. It, it, what? I was calling the wrong number. There's uh, a Gabnet and there's a Gabnet Live. It's Gabnet Live, you call. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Mike, right? Mike, yeah, man? Sure. Yeah, okay. And then that's okay. Uplifting and first then, thirty minutes. And then, then, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Why isn't that? Why isn't Alan K going up here? Hold, hold on a second, yeah. folks. Um, hmm. No, oh, there he is. Okay. All right. And then I've got to answer Charlie Wallace. Okay. Uh, so then I put Charlie in the third spot. Charlie. Third spot. This takes a while, oh, folks. What? Come on, Come damn on. you! Come on, there we go. I lost my slot. You lost your <laughs> slot. You didn't call in fast enough. Uh, let me see here. Are you Are you there? Oh, come on. I think I'm here. Oh God, I'm not having trouble okay. tonight. There, I have Charlie Wallace there. Okay, there we go, Charlie. All right. Well, why isn't Charlie coming up? I see him. Well, wait a minute. Here oh, comes Skype. Jeff. Yeah. Here comes Jeff Stein. I know you're seeing him, but oh, I I see why. Ah. All righty. Now there we go. There's that group. Now I got to go over to my other thing, and oh, and we can we can do that. There we go. There's Jeff. Okay, he he came back in his old spot. Okay. So, this takes a while. Yeah. Come on, damn you. Oh, uh, Jeff, turn off your audio. Jeff. You lost your slot. You didn't call in. Turn off your audio, Jeff. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, well, thank you for that that really uplifting first thirty minutes. <laughs> what do you mean? What was wrong with it? Morbid. I liked it. What? Most people don't know uh, what what this place is like for crying out loud. You know. Hey. Here comes Vernon Nunn, ladies and gentlemen. Why? What was wrong with it? Come on, do it, do it. Uh, tell tell me how I could have improved it. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just morbid. Oh, oh, you mean my last couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Vernon, turn your camera in the landscape mode, will you? All right, Alex. There uh, we go. There we go. Hello, Vernon. Good to see you. In the spirit of your open today, Alex, I have three cameras going. You have three cameras going. Yeah. Uh, uh, I got, uh, this is my iPhone. Okay, wait a minute. Let me let me just oh. let me just yeah, push, me uh, let me put your uh, your your camera up. Okay, so people can see that. Okay, now show us the three different right. views you have. So this is my Mac camera. Yeah. And then that's the iPhone camera. Yeah. And then over there is the iPad camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now I have a fourth camera, but it's not working. It's frozen in time. But... Oh, I I see. Okay. <laughs> well. Uh... Oh yes. You hit but that I'm using the, I'm using the NDI app. Is that what you're using, Alex? Yeah. 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 It's great. It, oh, it's terrific. It was great. And you know what's even better studios. about the NDI app? The NDI app, by the way, folks, what puts everybody on the screen individually here. Each each Skype call has its own channel, as it were. And um, uh, uh, the um, uh, it's it's terrific, you know. I, and I use the NDI. I don't know if you watch the beginning of the show, but I use the NDI using my iPhone to show people around the apartment or about around the studio here, which they usually have never seen. So anyway, so, so Alex, I wanted to start if I could, mm -hmm. following up on yesterday's interview with Rob Schneider. Yeah. I I have a Warren Thomas story. A what? A Warren, Warren Thomas story. Warren Thomas, by the way, let's tell everybody. Warren Thomas was a very good comedian, a great comedian. He's great. Who is the closest person to me I ever knew that had AIDS. And he didn't have it because he was gay or because he <laughs> took it up the butt or something like that. He, well, I'm, I'm trying, you know, he wasn't gay. He didn't get it from gay sex. He right. got it because he he had uh, had a transfusion at San San Francisco Hospital um, when he had phlebitis, and that was before they knew that they had to check the medical you know the blood supply at the hospital for AIDS contamination because they didn't know at that time what caused AIDS, and he got AIDS, and but he survived it. You know, he survived it, and the cocktails came along and saved his life, and then all of a sudden, one day, I knew him, he was here in New York, and we hung out a lot together, and all of a sudden, I get a call, uh, you heard from, uh, you heard from, um, from him, uh, and, and I said, no, I haven't heard from him lately, he said, well, they just found him, he's dead, he was in his apartment, dead, yeah, and that was another great comedian we lost, so. You know, I felt really bad about that. But, yeah. mm. So what's your Warren Thomas story? Well, I don't know if you remember, but I was one of the official photographers for Live 105. Oh, oh. And Warren hired me to uh, shoot him in Runner Park. I'm trying to remember the name of the club up there. Mm -hmm. One of the clubs in Runner Park, Katati. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, I went up there and I, uh, I, I shot his set and uh, he asked if I can give him a ride home. I lived yeah. in San Rafael and I forgot where he lived. I think it was yeah. somewhere in Marine County. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we had a great set. We had a great time. We were laughing like crazy. And so I said, do you mind if I uh, pick up something at a friend's house in Petaluma? I said, sure, mm -hmm. sure. I'll. So we, we go to Petaluma and uh, go to this really cute girl's house. And 
Uh, Next thing I know, he is in her bedroom screwing her mm-hmm. while I'm sitting on a couch watching TV. <laughs> and I just like, what the fuck? Should I leave? Do I wait? And it's it was just a really weird situation. And so, uh, yeah, after he was done and I think he gave she gave him some weed. Uh uh, then, then I gave him a ride home. But it was just a weird, like, 45 minutes of me waiting for Warren Thomas fucking this girl. Uh, 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 well, uh, I guess you you probably weren't yeah. the first guy to ever have to uh, uh, wait for Warren Thomas to quit fucking. You know? <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I mean, I was I was young. It was in my early 20s. And, you know, it was a client, right? Yeah. You want to please yeah. your client. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but yeah, he was a great guy. And, and I always thought he, I, I mean, there was some, in your conversation with Rob, whether he actually died of AIDS or not, that's all I thought he died of. Was well, AIDS. no, I don't know that he died of AIDS. He may have died as a result of AIDS. Okay. I mean, as a, as a, as part of it, uh, because- complications from, Complications from, but you know, when I got to know him again, when I got to, I knew him, but when I got to know him more again in New York, uh, I, um, uh, I, I, uh, I, I really, um, what, what am I trying to say here? I didn't have the feeling that the a- that AIDS was a problem for him anymore. That in fact the cocktails had worked. I mean, he was so bad off that he was down to twenty T cells. Uh, and I don't know if you know, folks, what T cells are about, right. but with age, you get you lose T cells, and eventually, uh, I think maybe he actually went down to five T cells, and then all of a sudden he took the cocktails and one right after the other, boom, 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 uh, he yes. got better, and uh, we were we thought, hey, he's out of the woods. We don't know why he died. I've never been told why he died or what the reason was you know i mean it could have been drugs you know for all i know you know so well listening to you and rob talk about warren thomas brought back some really funny memories now what's interesting is you called up to tell me how depressing i was tonight and then you brought up something very depressing that's wonderful thank you well you know i i wanted to bring something to the table tonight well you did but but i also uh, of course want to talk about uh uh Trump's uh, confession of collusion. Yeah, no. that was good. You hear what he said with Stephanopoulos? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He said, "What?" Yeah, well, he says. He... I didn't clue with Russia, but if they ever were yeah. to call me up with information, I would collude. I would collude. I would collude. Uh, you could crack him easy. Uh, I mean, he, he definitely needs a lawyer by his side all the time. You know, so I'm be like, don't say this, don't say that. He doesn't care. That could be it, too. I mean, he's such a narcissist. It's yeah. crazy. Well, now, we, of course, have Rob Alfano here, and he doesn't give a shit. Right, Rob? That's right. I'm, uh, I, I've given up. I don't watch the news anymore. You know, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to watch the news, I suggest, I've been suggesting this lately. Do what I do. I watch CBSN. Oh, that's good? They just do the news, and they do some of the news that nobody else covers that's important <laughs> because, you know... It's the only a, thing annoying about that, Ox, is that it keeps repeating. No, it's not... Well, I mean, what do you... It's expect? not always fresh. Yeah, but that's the news. I mean, MSNBC always keeps repeating, but it just has different anchors there, so it looks like it's a different hour. But it's not a different hour. It's the same shit oh. they did the hour before. And the hour before that, you know, I used to, we used to have, remember this, Rob, on radio, we used to have news on the hour. Oh, yeah. really? You know, you would do a five-minute newscast on the hour. And one day I said to somebody at a station where I was at, and this included music stations and rock stations and so oh, yeah. on. They would all do five minutes of news on the hour. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah, five oh, minutes. Yeah. KNX here in LA says you give us twenty minutes, we'll give you the world. Yeah, that's well, it. well, well, that's it, a news station. That's though. a news station. We're talking about most radio stations do five minutes of news on the hour. And I finally went to a program director once, or and I said, "Why do we do news on the hour? You know, 
because the news this hour is pretty much the same as the news last hour, and it's pretty much the same, as, same as the news the hour before. The only difference is if we did one today at noon and then we did one tomorrow at noon, the news would be different. In other words, all you're doing is doing a very slow evolution of the news cycle. I said, why do we do it every hour? And they said, because people want to make sure nothing has changed. I thought it was because we had to get the spots in. That too. Yeah. But can I, can I Especially if they were network newscasts. Yeah. yeah. How do they decide, Alex, with the news, like each hour? Would they say, would they change? Would somebody say, this is the story we're going to go with? Or like, would they tell you, or is it just like reoccurring the same thing or whatever's breaking? Like, how do they deem what to put ahead of something else? That's what um, the editors do. That's what the, uh, that's what the uh, assignment editors, not the assignment editors, but the, the uh, you know the, the executive producer they, they decide what the what what the most important story is and you know hey, Al, they can create I... a rundown and and they go from there. Hey yeah. Alex, let me ask you a question. When you were on the radio, would your guy say your boss let you say if you had a person working in this station with you and it was a story breaking in Manhattan, would they let you send somebody down there for like a live remote back to you to catch your story like a fire no. building? No. No. Oh, no. The, what? The radio stations, uh, as time went on, music stations didn't have reporters out on the street. Are you kidding me? So you couldn't send somebody down? Tell, tell, them, how we did, tell them how we did the news, Rob. What do you mean? How, how we, how we, like, many times at a station that you were working at where you were the jock, you also did that newscast. Oh, yeah. You'd go in the newsroom and rip the copy That's off the it. AP wire well, and you'd You'd read have it. these teletype machines. That had to be in a soundproof room so that it wouldn't make it wouldn't drive everybody in the building nuts because it rattled. <laughs> and you would just you would look for a thing. It said news at a glance. You remember that? Yes. And you would rip that off all the way to the bottom. And you knew when you got to the bottom because it, I think it said thirty. But also you knew it because the last story was always what we called the kicker story. The kicker, right. It was like, you know, some... Fluff, light, fluff, light. Yeah, some fluff story, <laughs> you know. Puppy, <laughs> puppy rescued out of tree in Omaha, yeah. you know. Yes, Jeff? Well, I remember, uh, I guess a little bit before, when in New York, uh, ABC and probably CBS had Harley's motorcycles running all over the city taking pictures and then they would bring the pictures to where I used to work in a lab and we would process the labs that so that we'd be ready for what 530 was when the the real news oh you're talking about the news yeah. you're talking about the news, news film you're talking about the news film yeah uh, yeah you're talking about the news film you're not talking about uh, right. but yeah about f photos uh, yeah, they used to shoot. They all the stuff was shot on film, and then it had to be sent back to the TV processed. station where it was processed. Mm. A and uh, you know, uh, you hoped it got processed in time for the air, because it plus it was all done in the dark. Oh yeah, you know. So if anybody turned on the that. lights, you didn't have a newscast. You know. That's right. Yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, it was all on film, and uh, it. Um, uh, I, I mean, I don't know exactly how they did it because I really wasn't working for TV stations in those days. But it was it was something. It was something. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, can't imagine it. I mean, I worked in TV news for a while. I can't imagine though in the film days what it was like. I just can't imagine that. that well, I mean, I, I can't imagine oh, it either because today, for instance, I. Well, for years, I used to, I, I went through different phases of video editing. At first, I, it was like taking two reel-to-reel uh, -reel machines and starting them seven seconds before you wanted the cut and then hitting a, a, a button to make it record onto the other machine. I mean, it was a real laborious process. When we did Midnight Blue, putting together one of those shows using reel-to-reel -reel took forever. And um, then we got these machines that were cassette machines, and you could they they automatically would pre-roll and do stuff like that. So that sped the process up. Uh, then uh, we got to um, uh, 
we started with the we started kind of getting into digital, and now in order for me to edit like a, a video, all, the longest part of of of, of uh, putting together a video is dubbing is taking the files, making files out of all of the all of the video, which are also files in and of themselves. And and uh, putting them over on the machine, and then you just start laying them down. Boom, 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 boom. I I could edit a half hour uh, document, uh, a half hour travel log in about uh, an hour. You know, it's very fast. So they don't have that same problem anymore. But, yeah. But just the the rush of getting the film in to get it processed in time for the six o'clock news had to be unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Rob, you know, the whole term B-roll came from that process where they would have one film rolling, that would be the A-roll, and the B-roll would be a whole other film rolling, and they'd switch between those two projectors. Yeah, the, the B-roll was always the, uh, oh, the picture of the street, the, yeah. uh, the atmospheric stuff, and the A-roll was like the reporter and the interviewee. Talking head, and, yeah. 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 Yeah, and so that's I, what they were switching back and forth between. I mean, I, I'm sure if we had some guy here who was around in those days, he could tell you the process they went through. But it wasn't easy; it was very <laughs> difficult. Uh, today, hell, you, you can shoot uh, news uh, news <laughs> stuff with your with your fucking iPhone. Phone. So yeah. That's what they. I, th I bet that's what they do. Well, I, I recently got a tour of uh, ABC Network News here in Glendale. <laughs> And yeah. they they're now sending out these uh, backpacks that have four to six uh, uh, cellular cards in them, mm -hmm. and so it they, it splits the video uh, data into six parts, and they are collected at a data center, and they can go yeah. live from anywhere using cell phones and. Uh, that's the norm now. They had like five of those backpacks. Well, you know, I mean, a good example is I'm showing a picture of you now, a singular picture of you on the screen, and it's crystal clear. You know, I mean, it's Skype, and they're using Skype a lot on the news. Yeah, you they see are. more and more of that. Yeah. The audio sucks, but I do, I do have uh, a gigabit uh, internet here at the house. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's what I've got here too. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, makes life a lot easier. You know, got pro mic. But uh, anyway, I mean, uh, uh, Rob used to work over at uh, for TV. He used to work at Court TV, and uh, even then, you were still working with what would be considered prehistoric equipment. It was all. Uh, what were we using? We were using Betacam. Betacam. Everything okay. was Betacam. But still, half before inch, half inch beta cam. Yeah, but you'd have to go into a, a studio then, and uh, uh, it was all analog editing. Yeah, all, all analog editing and edit those tapes together to, to get your final piece. Yeah, there was yeah. no digital editing really. Yeah, the digital editing changed everything. It changed everything. The iPhone, and the fact that people have a have a phone in their uh, camera in their pocket. I mean. This thing I have here, okay, is 4K. Now, I don't know if you know, ex you know the true extent of 4K, but when you go to a movie and you see a movie, all that is now projected by video. Yeah. And it's 4K. That's what's in the movie theater. So it, it, it's actually just 2K in the movie theater now. Is they don't it? have 4K projection yet. They don't have 4K projection? I thought it was 4K it's, projection. It's 2K. It's like 2.1. Really? Then your yeah. phone is capable of taking a picture that's better than the one you're watching in a movie theater. Absolutely. It, it, it's shot in 4K and 8K, but it's projected in 2K. And, and you know what people do with the, with, the, with the iPhone that drives me nuts? They shoot it like this. I know, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they shoot it up. They shoot it side. Folks, this is the way we see okay. the world. Okay, this is the way a pervert sees through a keyhole. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, it's slowly changing because people aren't watching videos horizontally on their TVs anymore, 
they're watching them on their phones, and that's really what's taken over is vertical video. Well, uh, uh, you wouldn't think it to see, you know, I'm watching a TV show for a news show, and they got some news footage from, you know, Bob Smith in Mississippi who just took a picture of the levee breaking. And they've got to, like, do stuff on the sides of the picture because the guy shot it like yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, in the business there, that's called wings, by the way, on the sides. Wings? wings. And I- there is a lot of uh, debate as to how the best do the wings. But uh, television and... Uh, what I would do is... Is, 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 more, well, is being more and more consumed vertically than it is horizontally. Well, they take the picture. They take the picture, Okay. And then on either side of it, they put a softer version of the same picture. That's right. what they use to fill up the rest of the picture. I right. think what they should do on the rest of the picture is on either side have it say, this idiot shot this <laughs> in the wrong orientation. Right. That's what they should do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, folks. Just teach people to do it right. You know, I go out, I go out on vacation. I, sh- I don't shoot, you know, uh, 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 what, what, what's it called? Uh, uh, Vert- portrait. 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 Portrait mode. I shoot wide. That's so you can see things on either side. You know, folks? That's, that's, the Grand Canyon does not look good in portrait mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but consumption of video is vertical now. It's not horizontal. People aren't I shooting stuff with you to be played on their TV sets. I wish you were right, but I see I, so I, many videos online of people who did them in portrait mode. I disagree with you because people still watch their TVs at home, and nobody wants to watch a movie this way. No. So people are watching, you know, it's just it's the handheld device. We're not talking about movies. We're talking about just but even, video capture of your vacation. People are watching that on their phones, and it's right. vertical. But that's not TV. Right. That's people aren't TV. shooting for TV. People are shooting for other people's phones. Well, you said TV is switching that way. Or you made a comment no, about TV no, no, I, changing I, I didn't mean way. to imply that. I'm just oh, saying okay. that the people are consuming vertical video more than they are horizontal video on their phones. Phones are the way to watch media now. It's not on your TV set. It's not on your computer monitor. The only time I ever watch um, on my phone media is when I'm at the gym. And I'm, I put it right there, and I watch it. You know, I'm watching the show. I was watching Jessica Jones today. Uh, you know, but uh, that's the only time I'll ever do it. Otherwise, I, I don't want to sit there looking at my fucking phone to see Ben-Hur. You know, come on. Yeah. By the way, you know what I watch... <clears throat> What a waste of my time. I mean, I could say it was a waste of my time, but it wasn't. Uh, TM, TM, uh, TM, uh, Turner Classic Movies, See. TCM, oh. uh, has an app, and it's on uh, the Apple TV, and it's on Roku, and it's the TM, uh, T, uh, TCM uh, uh, app. And what they do is they, they, all the movies they've been showing the last couple of days are available on that app. Also, their live feed is available on that app. You so, have to sign in it with your cable provider to be able to watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do that, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but it, 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 to begin with, here in New York, files are fucking morons. All right, because what they do is TC, uh, TCM Turner Classic Movies is not in high def. It, it, it all, it all, the, all it yeah. is, it is in low def. When they show like a high def picture, you know, like a widescreen picture, it's like the slit in the middle of the screen. So I've been using TCM to watch the live feed because they're showing it in high def on the TCM app. And then you can stream it on your TV. Well, is that? Yeah. Well, do you have a cable? What's your cable company, Alex? FiOS and FiOS for TCM yeah. well, does not. FiOS, does, FiOS has the ability to do it high def, and they're oh, not. They, uh, but they're not. And I think part of their reasoning is I think they said to somebody once, "Well, you know, all those movies are in black and white, and they're square, and they're old." So, you know, and and the fact is that as time goes on. They keep acquiring more and more stuff that's historic, and it's all widescreen. And the other night. They ran uh, Cleopatra, 
which in its day was a much assailed film as being a, you know, a loser. Which, it, when I watched it this time, and I watched the whole four hours and four minutes of it, uh, it, um, it was... Um, um, it was pretty. It was much better than I remembered. You know, the acting. Now, do you have the, Apple TV. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Do you have Apple TV? Yeah, I also have Roku too. Yeah. So I, on Apple TV, you can download the TCM app. Yeah. Log so, in and yeah. uh, with your FiOS account, and you can watch it in high def that way. Right. Right. I, in fact, yeah, I think you have to use your FiOS account. Anyway, the point is that that I watched the film, and it's a much better film than I remembered it. It was. <clears throat> amazingly well acted. Uh, it, the script was not embarrassing. The direction was good. It wasn't one of the all-time great movies, but it was okay. But the thing that I that I uh, uh, suddenly realized as I was watching it was, I'm not watching this film. I'm not watching something they did with CGI. That when they had a thousand people out there wearing gladiator outfits or whatever, those were a thousand people. Mm -hmm. You know, and when they had big ships battling each other in, in the water, though they built those fucking ships. You know, that today you could make Cleopatra on a dime for crying out loud, compared <laughs> to what they had to spend. It cost them like in those days it was uh it would cost them about forty million dollars, which today it would have cost them something like a, 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 a oh I don't know a quarter of a, a, a billion dollars to to do. Um, but I was amazed because I keep thinking in terms of uh, uh, in terms of, uh, of 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 CGI, and uh, none of this was CGI. And I was just sitting there in awe of it, saying they built those sets. There's no blue screens up there filling out the rest of the set. They built the goddamn thing. And I, I, I was really quite amazed by watching it, you know, that they put that much work into it. Today, I mean, Game of Thrones looks bigger than Cleopatra looked, okay? But they could do it because they had CGI. They could have never done Game of Thrones if CGI didn't exist. Most of today's uh, blockbuster movies, all of the superhero comic book crap, it's all CGI. And yeah. So I want to. I, I want to know where they're spending the quarter of a billion dollars to make these films now. Hmm. Yeah, they're buying Apple computers. <laughs> yeah. Alex, you gonna buy the new Mac? Oh yeah, I've got it on order right now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I'd buy it if I could afford it for sure. I, 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 I that thing looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous, but it, it's a complete. It would be a complete waste of time for you. Yeah, it's not you, market. Oh, it's you, not marketing. You bought a trash can. That was top of the line then. Yes, but the, my trash can. This is the top of the line trash can. Okay, when if I bought it, as is right now, brand new, it would cost me over seven thousand dollars. But six thousand dollars is the starting price for a goddamn Mac Pro cheese grater. That, by the way, doesn't have as much as this had has right now. I mean, I'm I, I'm 12 core. It's only 8 core. I'm 64 gigs of uh, of memory. They're only giving you 16 for six thousand dollars. I mean, who are they? You know, yeah, they, they, they should do a, a comparison test. And that, and you're, you know, if you think that you're going to get, oh well, okay, I got six thousand, I'll, I'll buy six thousand dollars worth. No, once you get that, you're going to want to put in more and more than it's got. You know, you want, you're going to want to add on to it. I've heard estimates close to fifty or sixty thousand dollars maxed out. I've, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I mean, why? You know, to begin with, I wouldn't well, buy it. If you, if you do video editing and a lot of yeah, but, crunching but, and transcoding, you need that. I got to tell you, 
this this trash can's a perky little machine. Yeah. You know, it's pretty fast. You know. Uh, wh what happened to... Oh, uh, oh Vernon uh, moved his camera. Hi, Vernon. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right tonight. Uh, what? I'm fine. Oh, okay. All right. Um, um, we haven't seen you in a while, and uh, I guess uh, you've been busy? Yeah, working too damn hard. Oh, really? What What are you doing? I work at Home Depot, and then I volunteer at Habitat. Oh, really? So what do you do at Home Depot? Uh, well, here lately I've been working in the tool rental department. Oh, okay. All right. So you don't have to <laughs> shake paint up for people. Uh, no, we got uh, tillers and floor sanders and uh, pneumatic pneumatic uh, nailers for people putting down hardwood floors. Yeah. And sewer drains, people who have clogged up sewer lines. Yeah. So that's a, yeah, okay. So let me see here. I got it. I got it. There we go. Darth Pat. There we go. And we add. Um, our own friend. Well, here, I guess I have to do this. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. You just filled up the uh, the, uh, the the page here. Oh, groovy. Uh, uh, groovy. Don't sound too excited. Hey, Alex, I tried calling on my wife's phone earlier in the show, and it kept uh, dropping. Really? Why? I don't know. It said call canceled. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I downloaded Skype onto her new Galaxy S9, and then tried to call in to the show. Now, are you using... right at, right after you said the lines were open? Are you <laughs> using a line you always use now? The same login, yeah. You, we're using the same login on the phone too. Yeah. Oh well, it should have it should have done it. Who knows? You know, it's the mystery. I wanted to see how I wanted to see how it looked on my wife's camera because I think it's got a little better little better uh, megapixels on it on the front camera than my this is my phone yeah well your phone looks fine looks terrific yeah okay. um, I love every I, I like it when some of the people who call the program are lying down when they're doing the show <laughs> uh, and and uh, it, I I just hope you don't fall asleep that's the only thing I, I worry about you know Jeff you've fallen asleep on the show haven't I you? I have fallen asleep yeah but I was not long. I was standing up. Now, Charlene, Charlene, she has fallen asleep on the show. She would start snoring. And now we don't have Tony because he's probably off, uh, I don't know, shoving his mother down a, a flight of stairs or something. Yeah. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Only the screaming is. There's no screaming. No screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wallow with his mom. Yeah. Off yeah. screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and what and then his wife started taking on that voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, so. Uh, let's see here. What else has been happening in the world? Uh, anything anybody uh, wants to talk about? Anything that um, is newsworthy? Uh, yes, uh, Vernon. Yeah, it's kind of uh, Vernon. Yeah, I, I yeah I I wanted to do an update on the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. As of this month, yeah, there are 196 electoral college votes in play. There are some other states have passed this, and there's only 74 more electoral college votes needed for it to go into a, a effect. Now, this is a, a system whereby the states have pledged to vote, to turn over all their electoral votes to the individual who, than, who it, gets the biggest national it, vote. Yeah, it's more than a pledge. The Constitution of the United States leaves it up to each individual state to yeah. divide, devise how they're going to uh, produce the electoral college voters. And every state passes a law saying this is how we're going to do it. Well, right now, 15 states plus the District of Columbia 
have adopted a law called the NPVIC, National Popular Vote Interstate Compact, and instead of them giving all of their electoral votes to the person who wins the most votes in that state, they will give all their electoral votes to the person who wins nationally. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yes. This will change our whole election system because yeah, we don't do a we don't do a national election. We do a state ele election. Right. So, so this, this is still making be a state it elected. not really. This would It'll still make be a it a state election. This would still be a state election, but the difference is the the uh, most states except for two, it's winner take all. So if Trump wins Kentucky like he did then Trump gets all the electoral votes for the state of Kentucky. However, if you look at the last seven presidential elections, the Republicans have lost six of them. And yet Republicans are controlling national government right now. Yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying, but if, you, if, if the states choose to go with the national popular vote, then it's not a state election, really. It's a national election. We could that's do the same thing. We, we could that's do the same thing. And, and, well, maybe, but that's, that's a major change in the way we, it, uh, we elect our officials. It's a major good change. It's a, it's a change, but it does not require a, a uh, amendment to the Constitution. People talk about the Electoral College is bad, but the, if you get rid of the Electoral College, you'd have to pass a constitutional yeah. amendment. This allows you to do the same thing without a constitutional amendment. But but these states that are passing these laws, aren't these pretty much liberal states? Well, to some extent, New Mexico and Colorado were the last two to, to pass it. Uh, Oregon just passed it. So, you know, both coasts seem to be of the 15 states. Most of them are either on the West Coast or the East Coast. Does that really bias yeah. anything if Alabama well, and Georgia and... Arkansas tired, and you name I'm it. I'm tired of Alabama, Arkansas, Texas, Georgia, Florida deciding a national election for me. I agree with you, yeah. but if they don't sign up for something like that, does it really change anything? Mm. Well, here's the thing: we we elected in 2018. We elected a bunch of more Democrats as governors in the state of Wisconsin, in the state of Minnesota, in the state of Kansas, in North Carolina. If all four of those states passed NVP PVIC, then the electoral college would be moot. But are those are those states may those states may those states may have uh, Democratic governors? But what about what about their state legislatures? Well, that's true. That's true. That's true. But it's not just the coast then, because Kansas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, those are midwestern states. Hmm. All right. Well, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah. I'm it does. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things going on here. Number one, uh, somebody, Forbin Colossus, who always likes to make snarky remarks on our <laughs> on our thing, says that uh, who is the nostril guy lying like a corpse in the upper left? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, adjust your camera. What? It's me, I think, right? That's the one he's talking about, yeah. Yeah. Well, tell him to fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's Al K. Okay. Oh, and his last name is Seltzer, by the way. Al K. Seltzer. And um, um, he does have a camera up his nose, as a matter of fact. So, you know, mm. yeah. <laughs> Um, I just think that the, I think that's a, not a bad idea. You know, we've got to do something to overcome this this uh, 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 electoral college bullshit. Yeah. Well, if, if that's that's the nice way of putting it. And by the I'm way, sorry. Mike, Mike, by the way, was showing us his dog. If you noticed, uh, is he is he still there? She's here. There this she is. is. Penny. There she is. Penny, say hi. Oh, what kind Set of live? huh? <laughs> That's an English Springer Spaniel. It's a Springer Spaniel. Sit, sit, <laughs> Penny. sit, Penny. Dead. Penny. Penny. sit, <laughs> Penny. sit, sit, 
Oh, that dog's really well trained. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Can he sit? There was one of the greatest acts in show business was a dog. It was a dog. I see. Was a dog act where a guy a guy would come out and say, "Okay, his name is Red Dust." Was the dog, and they said, "We'd do this, Red Dust. Do that." And the dog never would do any. The whole thing with the act was the dog would never do anything. In fact, he could put the dog on a table, half on the table, and the dog's rear end would be off the edge of the table. I mean, it was really a well-trained dog, but it was trained to look like it wasn't doing anything. And the big line in this act by the guy was, did he do something? You know, so uh, that, I, that, he reminds me of Red Dust. Sit, sit, Ubu, sit. Sit, Ubu. Oh, scratch. Oh, we see, he did what I told him, scratch. Go ahead, scratch. Uh -huh. um, yeah, okay, anyway. Uh, Making me a little dizzy. Anyway, there's uh, there's our pet for tonight, folks. Uh, so uh, uh, you know uh, we've got to do something. I mean, it, you know. But I'll tell you what's 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 really depressing me is the debate that's coming up. Why? Why this what? early? Why? Well, we we have to. If we don't, we will have 26 candidates. Until election day, we got to get rid of 24 of them. Well, well, my question is: Is it fair with some of these people to not allow them in the thing because they don't have, haven't raised enough money, or they don't poll well enough? Isn't that taking certain people who could use the advantage of people finding out who they are and disallowing that? And, and this is the reason why we only come up with, you know, a certain amount of people. I, I just, I think there's something wrong with that. I think everybody should be allowed to debate. And then it's like over two nights, so now they're debating, this group of people is debating, and then this group of people are debating. And it, it, it the, like, uh, the second night has Biden, Budacek, uh, uh I think it's got uh, it's got uh, Bernie's. I think in the second night, isn't he, Charlie? Do you do you know Bernie? Who? Huh? And Actually, I don't remember. Yeah, and Elizabeth Warren's on the first night with some other people, so she's <coughs> gonna she's gonna be the star of that particular <coughs> debate. The sure. other one, it's gonna be like everybody's gonna be. What does Biden have to say? What does Buttigieg have to say? You know, and mm -hmm. and. I just think it's all, all very unfair. I think you should just wait until January when some of them run out of money anyway. <laughs> you know? I, I want to go to the British system where there's only, what, four weeks of uh, campaigning? And I just, I, I don't, why are we talking about 2020 and it's over a year and a half away? It's just it's true. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's why I think the debates are, are too early. But you think that we need it to, uh, uh, Rob, you, you feel that we need it in order to, Weed out. Well, if you're going to have 26 candidates, you got to start weeding them down. You can't have. Mm -hmm. How long can you have 26 candidates for? Yeah, but is I'm the not be donating money until maybe September. But is the process yeah. we're going to use to do this debates? <laughs> you know. Well, you got so how, how are you going to know what these people stand for and what they want to do? That's true. Well, maybe they could give a speech. <laughs> you know. Maybe they could tell yeah. us. Or... Well, one of the candidates, I think it was Beto O'Rourke, said if they're going to, if they're going to have this many people in the Democratic primary, then have it over three nights instead of two nights, and let everybody participate. Have eight on each night. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, Patrick. Do you think people are going to watch for three nights in a row? No. That's, that's, the yeah. I mean, that's why they invented DVRs. I know I wouldn't if if it was all Republicans like we did when we had 17 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked the big boy table and I liked the little boy table. And it was all in one night. It, and I would have never watched over two nights. Mm -hmm. That's what I to do. Yeah. Know? So. Yeah. So I uh, so you it would uh, I don't know I just I just think it's too early I think to begin with I don't know why some of these people are even running right 
Because yeah, I don't, me too. I don't even know their fucking names. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, see. there's some like the governor of Montana and the former governor of Colorado that should be running for Senate because we need to take the Senate as well yes. as the White House. Well, could it be that some of them are doing this to kind of get their, their name known? And, yeah, and they're planning on running for the Senate. They're planning on running for whatever. And that they, uh, they're they using this to kind of uh, cut their bones on this, on this situation. Because I, I don't know. Uh, there, I can't. There are a couple of names. Somebody named somebody today. And I said, who the fuck is that? <laughs> and then there should be at least one person running named who the fuck is that. I'm running with him. Hey. Who is this guy? Yeah. Wasn't he the guy who was in that thing? You know, I mean, come on. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I don't know what for, for real or not now. Yeah, yeah. That's just when I'm for the camera. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, uh, my, my question is, why are we doing this? You know, why are we doing it this early? And, and I, you know, I, 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 are you guys going to watch the, that, the, those debates? Nope. Might. Nope. No. Nope. Raise your nope. hand if you're going to watch the debate. I might watch it just to see what they talk about, like Warren. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, so two people. Two. Okay. Yeah. So you'll report back to us and let us know what happened. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll take notes, but I may watch a little. It's June twenty eighth, right? Is that it? Twenty sixth you know, and twenty seventh. You know okay. what I'm going to do on the night of those debates? I'm, they're only two hours, right? I'm not sure. And, and I'm a little yeah. slow this way now, but I think both those nights I'm just going to spend the two hours jerking off to porn. <laughs> I, 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 I think that if I jerk off to porn, at least it will be more productive than those debates. Is that with Warren you're going to use, sir? Huh? No, I, no I'm not going to. Uh, believe me, that's you couldn't jerk off to it li- you know, um, I'm a cop. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, it was uh, what was it? Somebody used to do something uh, in the porn field to test guys to see if they could do porn, and they would have them jerk off to a picture of Richard Nixon. <laughs> and if, and if, and if, they, if they could jerk off to a picture of Richard Nixon, they figured they could come on cue. They could do anything. <laughs> they could do anything. Uh, I think the same thing is true here. I think if you can jerk off to Elizabeth Warren, I'm voting for you. Okay. <laughs> but you have to come. You have to come. I am sorry. I, you know. I mean. <laughs> You couldn't you couldn't jerk off to Elizabeth Warren and pretend she was somebody else. It's just not possible. <laughs> Look at Patrick's face. Huh? Yeah, Patrick. <laughs> Hillary. Imagine you drop it on Phil and he's got pictures of Pocahontas all over his room, for Alex. <laughs> I love Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, I mean, every time I see a, a, a bo- box of La- Land O'Lakes butter, I start jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what have we gotten ourselves into here? I mean, you break your, you break your 4K TV when Kirsten Gillibrand comes on. Oh, well, she, you know, to begin with, she should just give up now. Okay. Who, who, are the, who are the people who should give up now? Who should give up? And I and I'm granted. I know some of Beto. you can't. Beto, I think Beto Hicken should give Looper. up. Yeah. Who? Hicken Looper. Yeah. Bullock, Montana, who? the governor of Montana. Yeah. Montana. What's his name? <laughs> well, there. I, I think it's Bullock. Well, there Hillary. are. Looks. <laughs> there are two people from one state, right? From uh, North Dakota or something like that. Uh, no. Some some state I can't remember. Uh, I mean, it's just there are too are too many of them. I mean, can I? I'll I'll go get a list here. Democratic candidates. Oh uh, boy. Let's see here. Democratic. I think Hillary should give up. Can that one mayor days. from that town in, in Florida. I think De Blasio. Heard of him? Oh yeah, Damn. De Blasio should give up. Oh, He's eighty six. Oh, okay, well, wait a minute. They, uh, they want him to get hit by a Wonder Bread truck. And, you know, 
Well, oh, oh, he's back over him again. First of all, he's not dead. Go back over him. Make sure you got here. Here, here. You know, after a few days ago, I think John Stewart has a shot. Yeah, see, you know, he yeah. he read them the riot act and he got yeah. stuff done. He did. He made them actually pass the law. You know, yeah. just they by shamed him. Just, just he by, is so smart. Yep. And oh, you know God. something? I don't think he did it for any other reason than pure passion. You know, yeah. you know, and and that's what really made me feel good about him. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. These are the twenty who made the cut. Okay. Wow. Uh, there are how many now running? Twenty-six. Twenty-four. Twenty. I, I heard twenty-four, but maybe it is twenty-six. Anyway. Senator Michael Bennett of Colorado. Now, I never heard of this guy. I didn't even know the name, and I should have because out of pure ego, I should have known the and name. And he's related? Who, who is he? I don't know. This is the first I'm hearing of him, actually. Former Vice President Joe Biden. They say he's leading, Joe. Yeah. Senator Cory Booker. Mm -hmm. I like Cory. South Bend, Indiana, Mayor Pete Buttigieg. 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 It really doesn't matter. I just call him Mayor Pete. It's the booty. Former film. Housing Secretary Julian Castro. You should be familiar with him, right, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Charlie? Yeah. Former Mayor of San Antonio. Yeah. Is he yeah. any good? Yeah. Okay. He's a good progressive. Oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. Uh, here's the one I don't get. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. <laughs> Is he yep. even in the top 20? I don't know. We'll hope when he dies by the weekend. Former Representative <laughs> John Delaney of Maryland. How many here have heard of John Delaney? Nope. Uh, see, nobody. Why is this guy even trying? Uh, uh, let's see here. Representative uh, Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii. How many know of Tulsi Gabbard? Oh, yeah. See, you would have to ask Renee that because she's in Hawaii. Yeah, I know who if she we... is because I saw her on CNN a while back when she first yeah. announced. Uh, oh, look, look, he's putting up the pictures of what is Are these all the people who are going to be up the, that it's... night? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Talk, talk for a second there, uh, Mike. Hey, check. Hello. Yeah. Let me see here. There we go. Then I can. Then the, the picture. Mike and my. Here we go. Yeah, the picture. So here's up. the list. Here's the list. Well, let me now, go. Tulsi's me... kind of cute. Huh? Tulsi's cute. Yeah. Tulsi. She is. Is she really? Yes, that's how I. Got, okay. That's why okay. I was interested in her as a presidential uh, candidate. Let me let me ask you a question. Do you think I could jerk off to her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so Kirsten, then, Kirsten Gillibrand of New York. This cunt uh, is the one that uh, took uh, uh, what's his name down. Uh, yeah. Al Franken. Al oh, Franken. Wiener, right, Alex? Al Franken. Yep. No, Al Franken. Oh, Al Franken. That's right. Yeah. She took. She had an axe right with him. Uh, she, I will never forgive her for that. I will they never forgive her. I won't even vote for her here. Yes. Um, uh, um, uh, and she barely got elected. She just got like stuck in the Hillary seat when she gave it up. I got an idea, yeah. Alex. I can I can make this into a, a graphic. Hold on. You can make it into a graphic. It's a bracket? A graphic. A I can oh, I can oh. do this. I can do this. No, that way everyone's names are gonna be the right way. Oh, wait a minute. But the trouble is, if you do that, I still unless everybody keeps quiet, we won't be able to hear it. What are you doing? Uh, okay. Freeze Stand frame. By. Anyway, let's get on with it. Senator Kamala Harris of California. I, I, like, I like her. I think How's this, good. Alex? Check okay. this out. Okay, okay. There they are. Everybody be quiet so we can show it without losing the picture. There we are. Uh, there they are. They're in reverse, however, because... Are they still? The writing oh, is Skype. in reverse. Yeah, of course. It's Skype. Yeah. All right, wait. Maybe I can... I think I can fix that in... Uh... In Skype. No, I can rotate it, I think. Well, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You have to do a mirror image. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got this. You, know, you don't have to get it. It's okay. It's fine. 
Well, I I pride myself. Oh, wait a minute. Where, where's Tulsi? I want to see her. Uh, anyway, l l no. Uh, I, 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 while you're doing that, let me get back to the there list. There you here. go. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Then we've got uh, uh, John, Governor John Hickenlooper of Colorado. Governor Jay Inslee of Washington, Senator Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, she's okay. Representative Beto O'Rourke of Texas, eh. Representative Tim Ryan of Ohio, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont, Representative Eric Swalwell of California, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, author Marianne Williamson. Who is she? I know that name. She ran for the 33rd district in California and lost in 2014. Oh, really? Okay. And uh, let me see here. And then entrepreneur Andrew Yang. <laughs> Andrew Yang? He's... The all yeah, he was on Bill Maher's show last week. He's actually very he, eloquent. He to him I speak. didn't know who he was until I saw him on Bill Maher, and he has some, some really progressive ideas. He's talking yeah. about you know how automation has taken away most of the manufacturing jobs in this country and he said what's coming next are truck drivers and retail truck drivers it's already happened well, retail's yeah. already started yeah it's already started and look at mcdonald's it's, look it's, at uh, self checkout at grocery stores yeah. now, Walmart, one of his whatever. one of his proposals is what they call a universal minimum income for every citizen of the united states that's one of Andrew Yang's proposals. Yeah. So but, everybody gets the salary regardless if you work then. My question yep. is. Exactly. My, Even if you do work, you still get it. But here's here's his point. Yeah. Most of the people who would get that, they're talking about, he's talking about $1,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Most of the people who would get that would turn right around and spend it. Yeah. And that would stimulate the economy something fierce. Yep. You know what's funny? You mentioned the automatic checkout. When I go to, I don't know if you guys have Trader Joe's, but every time I, I like going to Trader Joe's, with my brother, they have no self, they have no self checkout. They have regular cashiers, and that place is always hopping, jammed. So I mean, you could do it without this. When I see self checkouts now, I, I don't even like to shop in those stores. What does that have to do with uh, what we're talking about? Oh, he was saying about the automated things. Uh, automating, jobs. Well, yeah. automating jobs. Oh, automating jobs. Yeah. Automating jobs in retail. We you have self checkout at automation. Depot. You can't stop yeah, automation. We have, have self checkout at, auto, at at Home Depot. People can bring plywood up to the front and scan it with a scanner. And out the door they go. They're done. You're never going to stop automation. You can't stop progress. People have tried. By the way, speaking of you of, could try. Uh, speaking of Home Depot, if I can just change the subject for a second here. I heard something that they have invented transparent wood. Have you heard huh? about this? It's invented. Yeah, it's called Lexan. Really? And it's wood, right? <laughs> what is that a joke? No, no I was a joke. <laughs> okay, I'm gullible. Uh, transparent aluminum. By the way, did you, did you know this, Tony? Like in Star Trek: The Journey. Home. <clears throat> yeah. But, I mean, you know, as strange as it may seem, Tony. The word gullible isn't in the dictionary. Did you know that? No. Huh? I'm gullible enough to believe it. <laughs> ah. yeah. Oh, there we go. There there they are again, folks. Um, the people. Uh, anyway, so, I mean, uh, uh, this, this whole thing is just, I don't know. Why do I want to watch it? You know, which one? Oh, oh, you're really using your system now, aren't you? You're flying stuff away. Oh. And you're doing all kinds of things. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you something else Home Depot's doing, Alex. What? They are, they are experimenting in select stores around the country mm -hmm. with after-hours lockers in the front of their store so that you can order stuff. And they can put it in those lockers, and as long as you have the code, you can go to the store after hours, any time of the day or night, and put that code into that locker and get your stuff. Wow. That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. 
Yeah. It's just I, I never go to Home Depot, but, you know, it's not a bad idea. But then again, it's I don't... There's nothing I, big. Well, I guess not a big lock. Well, yeah. I, well yeah, Amazon yeah, has those type of lockers by up. Queens Boulevard and 7-Eleven. Yes, like the Amazon. yes. He's right. Amazon does that. Yeah, I see now 7-Eleven parking lot when you go in. It's like it's right there. Yeah. Uh, probably better than having them deliver, you know. Uh, you sure that those are lockers and not for the gas? For the they have those lockers in the front for the the propane tanks. You could switch out. Oh, they already have those. They already have yeah. those. Yeah. 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 I'm just asking if if that's what uh, if if that's what Tony is seeing in front of the Home Depot. Those lockers that they have the big propane tanks in them, so you can get your you can swap them out. Your empty ones oh, for a full one. Well, that yeah. I'm not sure of. I know they do have that. I was actually saying, like, by my house on Queens Boulevard, the 7-Elevens, when you go in, they have a whole thing on the outside of the parking lot. If Amazon has all, like, lockers, they must use it as a drop-off. And then you go with the code. Yeah. You put your code in and you take your – that's how you go to that box. You could probably say, of course, you'll tell Amazon when you place your order, where would you want it? And they drop it there. They probably tell you the locker and the email and the code. And you go in. Papa say if you're coming home from work, consider you can't make the delivery. Like I like Alex said, I had FedEx coming to my house. I missed two deliveries, and I got to wait for them all day tomorrow to come. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, um, I, well, it, I have a I have a real problem here because sometimes <laughs> they're they're so fucking lazy at. Uh, oh. at, at uh, I won't say UPS. UPS has the best record of delivery to me and I, I've told Amazon I don't want my packages delivered by FedEx and I don't want them delivered by anybody else just UPS but even with UPS occasionally I get a thing that says well we were here and you weren't <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I said who is that man I am here <laughs> oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Pam Take a look at Alex. That was me before this I... This is from an interview on KTVU, apparently. Yeah, you're giving me chest pains now. Chest pain. <laughs> <laughs> I get these chest pains from just sitting here and crouching for a couple of hours. Ah, man. Anyway, yes. Who is that... Uh, well, let me put that up there. Who is that handsome guy? Boy. <laughs> That mustache was a bad idea. Surprised your mother didn't say shave that, Alex. Why did she tell you to shave that? And also, shut up a second, Tony, so we can get back to the picture. Say something, Mike. So hello, 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 hello. Yeah, there we go. Uh, look, look at look at the back. I mean, that's when I wasn't cutting it short. I was allowing. I had that kind of Danny DeVito look going for me there. You know. Boy, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, that, well, that, that was that was my uh, that was my uh, official uh, portrait that was taken. It was taken when I did a show at Channel Forty Four, and uh, that that picture I like. You know, I used that for years. KBHK. KP, KBHK. Yeah, it's in reverse, by the way. What he's showing there. Well, that's that's that, extra. Do you want me to fix that? Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that was I think that was a good picture yeah there we go there, we, there you go yeah. that's the way it was it was a good there's picture a, yeah uh, there's a photo of you here from Sirius Satellite really oh that one's probably terrible they never took a good picture of me at Sirius it's like it's, they never took me seriously is what it's all about <laughs> and so they never took a good picture of me why do you have uh, uh, you, you have the one from Sirius there it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. That's that's what I said. That's what I said about Elizabeth Warren. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, this one is uh, kind of low res, but uh, well, so, just put it up there quickly, and then let's get on with other things besides showing me when I used to have some hair. Yeah, that was like the first picture that was ever taken of me at Sirius. And they used that for the longest time. And I was just taken with a cheap camera. It wasn't even, you know. So, uh, you know, I didn't like that picture at all. Get rid of it. Stop showing pictures I'm, of me. I'm uh, <laughs> having fun with my toy here. I know. But you're making me miserable. 
Now you know who can substitute for you when you don't want to do a show on uh, some night. Yeah, he's, he's got all the tools. He's, he's got it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll, he, I'll, I'll be back up, Bennett. Well, you could actually probably do well, this show I'll because you, show. You, you're Please. using uh, you're Please. using OBS, right? I'm using uh, Wirecast. Oh, you're using Wirecast. Okay, well, you could do it with Wirecast. A cracked version. A, a what version? <laughs> cracked. A cracked version? Why, why is it cracked? Well, I didn't pay for it. I'm oh, you didn't say. pay for it. Okay. Oh. Well, use OBS. You don't have to pay for that, and it's as good I as Wirecast. I just don't like how OBS is made. I, I don't think it's well done. Oh it's, oh, it's incredible. I've used Wirecast, and I like this better than Wirecast. Mm. It, once you get into it, it's more robust. Look what I'm doing with it. Look at all these wonderful. Yeah, pictures. I love those presets. They're great. Yeah, you know, it it, it, it does the job, you know. And there and I I'm reading, going online to YouTube and finding out how I can do more stuff with it. Yeah, you know. And do you, did you get? You should get that uh, stream deck. You know what that is? Yeah, I saw that. You know, it's really cool. How much is it? I think it starts like at one fifty. Really, and, and, and you hook it up to your, your, and then you can switch with a physical switcher. Yeah, I have it in my backpack. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have to go get it. Well, let's not talk technical here. So, um, um, Kellyanne Conway. <coughs> See, I'm skirting around. Oh boy. Trump. Yeah, they want her out of yeah, there. They want her out of I'm there. I'm masturbating to her. Yeah. Well, you know. it, 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 <laughs> Well, more importantly, she's one of those yeah. women who, if she's far away, you probably can jerk off to her. But the closer she gets, it's like the picture yeah. of Dorian Gray, you know. <laughs> All of a sudden, she's right in your face, and it looks like melted caramel, you know. It's kind of like, it kind of almost looks like what happened to that guy when he opened up the Lost Ark, you know. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> It's one of those women you see in a, in a real dark bar at night and, and figure, oh, she's hot enough. I'll take her home. And then you take her home and you turn on the lights and you go, fuck. What did I do? Yeah, pretty good body. Is this, am I being sexist tonight? I guess I am. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes uh, Rob. You know, I, I just <laughs> I just went to the CNN uh, website just because you were saying what else is going on in the news, and I haven't really been paying attention. Did you hear about this Tennessee preacher cop who calls for execution of LGBTQ people? He had a sermon, and this is what he said. God has instilled the power of civil government to send the police in 2019 out to the LGBT freaks and arrest them and have a trial for them. And if they're convicted, then they are to be put to death. Convicted? <laughs> convicted of what, though? Uh, being, being different. You know, you know what's interesting <laughs> to me is the thing that's worst about Donald Trump is that he gives a sense of permission to these people to say these yep. idiotic things, <laughs> you know? Unbelievable. And, I, and while he's at it, we should do it to people in wheelchairs, by the way, because they're always annoying, you know, especially... <laughs> oh, hi, Patrick. They get the best parking uh, spots. Well, no, when I go to Costco, they're the ones in those, uh, those motorized the wheelchair <laughs> things yeah. that uh, are uh, just, you know, uh, out of my way. I've got to go get the peanuts. You know, I mean, <laughs> more beer. Yeah, there's the thing that he's talking about. How much does that cost again? I, What's it called? I think it's one fifty. Yeah, yeah. But it, is, it's just it's cool. It's, you can make these buttons be anything you want, and you can see some of them are animated. You see yeah, that? Yeah, uh, yeah. What do you do with that? It's, it's just it's, a way to physically switch between cameras. It, what? And it, oh. it, it, it it hooks up by a USB port and goes to yeah. the uh, it switches the OBS. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, you but, but I, I, I don't, I don't know if I need it. That's the problem. I, I well, switch. Well, you've got automated switching with the voice, which is cool. Well, that, and also uh, when I switch back and forth between like you and then all the people, it's one button on my keyboard. Yeah. You know, so I just have it all on the keyboard. Um, but you know, or, or when I started off tonight, I, I was, I did this little speech after I gave a tour of my office here. Which was uh, cool. Uh, 
I, I, I brought up the fact that as I was coming home from the gym, I looked at the street and there were tons of people because New York City is a very crowded city. And I said, all these people are going to be dead in 100 years, within 100 years, probably sooner. Well, thank God, but they'll be replaced by a whole different bunch of people. And that <laughs> why, why don't people realize this? And why do they spend what time they have here trying to make other people's lives miserable? You know, why, do, why does Trump act the way he does? You know, I mean, why do leaders of countries suppress their people and do things like that? They're only here for a short period of time. What do they want to do? Make everybody's life as miserable as possible while they're here? You know, it, it's just that we are so fragile and, and the turnover is so great that in 100 years, none of those people are going to be there. And whatever the problem is today ain't going to mean shit to a tree. Yes, Patrick. I don't think any of us can honestly say that at every point of our life that we think about our mortality. And I think that the, that's a big part of it is that when people achieve some sort of power, whether it's a mayoral power or presidency or whatever, you, you don't look at it's a limited time, meaning your life. I mean, the, the, Presidency is a four-year term, or Senate is six year, but you you don't look at your own mortality, so it doesn't come to play into it. And I mean, I can say that with my own life. Um, you know, I've been paralyzed for 16 years, mm -hmm. and is my life going to be my lifespan going to be shorter because of the various physical issues I have? I don't yeah. know. I would think logically, yes, but I don't think in those terms because it's, it, it's not human nature to go that way until we are sick or mm -hmm. we are in some sort of uh, turmoil. Yeah. But why do we, Patrick, you know, be, what I was trying, what I was thinking today was we are so perishable and yet we still, while we're here, some of them, some of us, make other people's lives miserable. Yeah. Can't. But it's why? ego. It's ego. But it's, 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 it goes to their head. From Kim Jong-un to Donald Trump. It's just ego. Uh, yes, Jeff. I, I knew a guy who uh, was almost going to be 100. And this was a couple of weeks ago. And uh, his, his wife uh, organized a big, not his wife, his daughter organized a big party, huge party. And it must have been like two months before he was going to die. And he died. He never made he, the hundred? He didn't make the hundred, but they all had the party. My mother, my mother made a hundred and we did have the party. And then yeah. within the year, she died. It was like, okay, I did it. I'm out of here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I don't think I can make. I, I don't think I can make it to the next. I don't think I can make it to the next hundred. You know. You know when I hear mother and dying now, I feel like I'm out of work, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Please live. <laughs> At least ten. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I, She's doing good stuff. Yeah. I'll be dead before her. I, I was talking about people acting selfishly, uh, uh, and and you came to the rescue. Yeah. Um, in case you don't know, folks, he's got a job, perhaps, with oh, the I city. Passed, Alex, I got to tell you, I had to take the, I got to tell Shaggy a funny story when I visit, but I'll tell you first, that I had to take the drug test, so the guy gives me the cup to go in the bathroom, so my sister's waiting for me, I couldn't sit down, I almost, I couldn't, I thought I was going to miss the cup into the Oh, pee. no, that's, that's, it's hard, that, that, I couldn't sit, there was no chair. That's what's and called. And the bowl was clogged up with toilet paper. It was <laughs> disgusting. That's what's called a shy bladder syndrome. And one it's when the doctor gives guy. you the cup and he sends you in and says, pee in the cup, and you sit there for a half hour trying to dribble something yeah. out into the That's cup. That's what I was trying to do. First, I was trying to angle myself, like, how am I going to do this? And, then, then, I put it and then, then when you leave the place, you automatically go, I need a bathroom really quick, you know. 
Then, yeah, then they had to get my blood. They forgot to call my name. My sister's like, when are you getting your blood taken? I said, I don't know. I'm peeking my head out. She said, I think they called it. My brother's waiting for you to take his blood. Mm-hmm. Everything went good, Alex. All I have to do is get my uh, other paper filled out tomorrow for my sisters and sisters. Yeah. And I'm done, really. Yeah. I and- start July 1st if she doesn't die by then. Yeah, I'm joking, yeah. Mom. <laughs> Oh, geez almighty. Yes, uh, Patrick's got his hand up. Yes, Patrick. I'm going to check if she's breathing. Hold on. Job security. (laughs) What? What did you say? Say that again. I I said I could send Tony a catheter and he could get snapped in there if he got... (laughs) <laughs> shot it on the wall. I was just trying to. No, well, here, like, here's oh, the thing. Uh, I just uh, grab it and stab it. it grab it and good. stab it. Yeah. Well, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing, uh, 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 Tony. Uh, what I suggest you buy is a mirror. Uh, yeah, and and then when you're wondering whether she's sleeping or oh. dead, you just put the mirror under her nose and you just check. You know. Yeah. Well, tomorrow we're getting a hair done. I have her lady friend comes over to cut the hair, so I'm going to get mine done to a figure. She's here, I'll give her twice the baby. And I'm going to tell her, you know, she's always coming over to cut the hair. Boy, you really have an exciting life, don't you? I actually don't. i got to wait for FedEx tomorrow while I get the hair cut. Tony is the character they forgot to portray on the Big Bang Theory, you know. Um, <laughs> oh, he's the one. Yeah, he's the one. Um, he could have been the comic shop uh, guy. I could have um, yeah. 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 I would have hit it off with him. I was like, you're doing it all wrong. And you could have taken care of uh, what's his name's mother. Oh, yeah, that you never saw, remember? Yeah. You just yelled in the background. Come on. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, all I was saying tonight, it just, it just, it just occurred to me that none of these people are going to be here. So why are they taking this all so seriously? You know, and why, why, why don't we take care of each other? And why don't we care about each other? What is wrong with us? Now, the only time you ever have thoughts like that, Alex, is when you have a near death experience and, and the, 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 you know, the air smells better, the sun is brighter and all that. And it fades. Even with people who have those moments, it fades. I got news for you. I have a near death experience every day. And, uh, (laughs) (laughs) you know, the the air still sucks around here, you know, (laughs) maybe we take things too seriously, I think. Did you say a while ago? I, I, don't I, I noticed that Jeff was here. coughing. Jeff, pollen? Is it pollen? Oh, yeah. Of course. Is it bad? Yeah, Because my terrible. chest has been killing me for the last couple of days. Oh, God. And and then I got a, a, a cough that I couldn't explain. And then Marjorie yesterday said she got, actually had some, she felt pollen go into her throat. Ooh, you know, I'm, I'm, it's what bad. What the hell's there pollen in New York City? Well, it, how's their life in New York City? From the Jersey. <laughs> you know? Where the hell's the pollen coming from? Well, there is Jersey. the pollen count. From New Jersey. The pollen count is only medium, but it depends on what pollen you're bothered by. All of the fumes from the buses and everything, it's the pollen that gets you. You know something? New, <laughs> New York isn't. A, 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 yes. Uh, actual- a, 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 well, I was going to say New York isn't as bad as it used to be. Yes, Jeff. Oh, yes. But anybody who's a New Yorker. Always says it's New Jersey. We fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, right. New yeah. Yeah. It's the old joke the about they only charge they only charge tolls on the bridge leaving New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what it was? Years ago it used to be we used to make jokes in San Francisco and we don't have anybody here from the Bay Area tonight, do we? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mike. San uh, huh? I grew up in San Rafael. Yeah. Uh, uh, remember when we used to make jokes about Chinese drivers? Sure. Yeah. And, and then uh, when we, I came to New York, there weren't any Chinese drivers <laughs> jokes. They were all New Jersey driver jokes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Same jokes, different uh, <laughs> Oh, you could, yeah, you do, the, you do the same jokes, but, you know, you change the, you change the, the thing. Uh, but no, and, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know why do we. Why do we always say the Chinese drivers were terrible in California? Because I guess they were. They were. They still are. They still are. Am I? Am, is, oh, is, yeah. is it, but is, am oh, I yeah. being racist when I say that? 
Of course you are. Or am I? <laughs> no. Extremely racist. Or, or am I being factual? I mean, when all of a sudden somebody cuts you off or does something bad in California and you look, it's a Chinese driver. <laughs> that reminds me, I want to go to Cheeks tonight. <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't. No bad Tony. Bad oh, Tony. My grandfather used to say that. No, Tony. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, let's go get some kike. Okay. <laughs> Boy. Uh, yeah, Mike has a twin. Huh? Yeah. Uh, but, oh, oh. Mike, has, uh, Mike, has Mike is having more fun with his stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Everybody be quiet. Mike, say something so I can make it full screen. All right. Let's see if I can kiss myself. Uh, wait, a minute, wait, a minute. There, wait a minute. There he is. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, Check. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. It's a Siamese twins, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's right. I'm oh, wait a minute. Show. Is that racist against the Siamese? I, I don't. I have no idea. Sure. Yeah. Boy, I'll be happy when you're 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 set and and decide that you can just talk to us and not have to uh, go through all of that rigmarole. You know, uh, I'm I'm too fidgety. You too fidgety? Okay. <laughs> I like playing with my toys. Yeah. yeah. I, I know you do too, Alex. Well, I don't. No, I don't. I've gotten tired of it, actually. To be honest with you, I mean, I I what toys do I need? I mean, I bought this trash can because I needed a new machine in order to be able to pull this off. But that's it, I, I, I'm, I'm I've gotten to the point where I just don't I don't need that shit anymore. You know, yeah. they, they, because they're going to come out with a new toy next year and the new toy the year after and that be all and the over. year after that. Yep. And how many, yep. you know, how many toys do I need until I run out of money? Yeah. You know, uh, the only thing I would invest in is like uh, cameras, things like that. You know, the only thing I'm investing in now toy wise is this house automation stuff. I don't have my computers are old. They're all Macs. They work great. No sense in buying new ones. Right. Everything I buy is all home automation stuff. Yeah. I I am so into home automation. I say I'm the master of my domain. I can control lights all over my house. I got yep. four cameras. I can just look at my tell Alexa to do things and close I would, the garage I would, door. I would do that, but I can't in this house because there is no there's only two lights in the whole apartment on a switch. <laughs> The well, you can buy the plugs. I, I have a couple of the outlets that you plug into the wall, yeah. and you program those, and they'll, they'll, uh, you don't have to change switches if you don't want. Yeah, I'm fine. You know, uh, God knows I, I, I can change my TV set with my Alexa, so, you know. Hey, hey look! You hear that? <clears throat> that's, the, that's the stupid theme song we got. Who turned uh, that on? I turned it on because it's time to go. Uh, we have, uh, let me see if I can get everybody straight here. Al and, uh, 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 oh, gee, I had his name a few minutes ago. Um, Bird. Mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got him. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, Charlie, of course, I never forget you. Jeff, great talking to you. Uh, Vernon, good having you here. Rob, always great having you here. Uh, I love to constantly hear uh, what's happening to our old friend here, who uh, is uh, uh, Tony Magno, because it's just that wallpaper is just worth it all. <laughs> uh, and Patrick, yeah. thank you so much for being with us. If everybody would give a big wave goodbye, I'll wave back at you. See, see how easy that is. Okay, there they go. Okay. Let me get rid of them, first of all, so that uh, the uh, phones can be used by the next program, which is, of course, Jack Bishop and the intersection over most of this same gab net. Uh, uh, we're off for a couple of days, then we'll be back on Tuesday, uh, right here, after uh, Damian Chaplin does the exchange. We'll be here at 10 o'clock, same time. Same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.